we are moving ahead, we have a controlling short sleep temperature. For maximum operating life, the plunger must move smoothly through the round. Straight short sleep. It must travel the length of the sleeve without winding and with the gap never exceed 0.1 mm as earlier we told. This depends on a very close control of short sleeve temperature. Experience has proven that there are ideal dimension ratio for short sleeve that will allow maximum performance and operating life. For example, the ideal wall thickness is 1 by third of the ID of the short sleeve. But again, I repeat that the ideal wall thickness, the ideal wall thickness of short sleeve is 1 by third of the ID of short sleeve. If the wall is too thin, hot spot will develop, unequal expansion will cause mobility of the sleeve. This will result in an excessive wear by both the sleeve and the plunger tape. If the wall of sleeve is too thick, however, the sleeve will retain too much heat and the entire sleeve will overheat. Excessive thermal expansion then may cause the gap between sleeve and the plunger tape. The diameter of the pole, the diameter of the pore hole should be no more than 70% of the ID of the sleeve. Again, I repeat it, the diameter of the pouring hole should be no more than 70% of the ID of short sleeve. If the pore hole has, is too large, the short sleeve will become deformed. Quality will again be the result. The clearance between both the short sleeve and the platen. Now we talk about the platen and short sleeve clearance. The short sleeve and die should remain between 0 0.005, 0 0.005, right? In inches and in mm, it is about the 0 0.12 mm, right? The clearance between the short sleeve and the platen should be 0.12 mm. If we talk about the clearance between the short sleeve and the die, it should be 0.3 mm. Okay. So the pore hole end of the short sleeve is where the temperature is highest. There is obviously where cooling is most necessary. The usual method of temperature control is the pore and cooling jacket. The effective and economical device, the effective and economical device put short sleeve pulling where it is needed most directly below the pole top. The cooling jacket can also be used when the sleeve is replaced as well the alloy being produced into the sleeve is about uh, 650. 670, 700 degree centigrade. While the annealing temperature of S13, the usual short sleeve is for uh, only around 600 degree centigrade. If the short sleeve is not adequately cooled, it will likely lose some of its hardness. Wear will then more quickly result from the abrasive action of any alloy that penetrate the gap. If the space between the short sleeve and the platen is too great, heat will be retained. When this happens, hot spot will occur and the sleeve will expand at this location. If the clearance between the short sleeve and the platen is too small, the platen will draw heat from the sleeve. Cold spot will develop in the sleeve and it will contract. It may be then interface with the plunger tip and the cause inconsistent short violation. If the clearance between the short sleeve and the die is too small, the expansion at the end of the sleeve will constrain at the point where the expansion of the plunger tip is greatest. Interference is almost inevitable. The amount of thermal expansion and the contraction of short and component is much greater than most diecaster lives. 
effective short wave temperature control is imperative for good diagnostic 